Okay, I'll probably be exposing my love life in this video. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna watch this video. That's the only reason I'm just talking about it. Uh, yeah, there might be two or three drunk calls media sometime. It scares me because I don't know why this whole conversation is getting so dark. I think I look like a joker talking about serious stuff with this hairstyle. You need to have a boyfriend. Like I don't even know how to explain this at this point. Like, it's like I have high expectations and definitely not doing this again. What? What am I doing with my life? Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'll directly jump right into the video. So I just hopped out of the shower. I used Be Blunt Intense Moisturizer Shampoo and Conditioner. I know a lot of you have seen me doing the, you know, with the brush or straightening and everything. So I thought I'll give a try. So I wanted to try the Heatless Curls. I got this thing on Sheen, which was just a dollar. So I've seen a lot of tutorials where girls were doing this. Hopefully it works out for me. So yeah, I'll be back once my hair is like 80% dry. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay guys, quick change of plans. My hair is 80% dry. I have to go out. My cousins are coming to pick me up. We're going out for dinner and I definitely don't want to look like this when I'm going. So, you know how I blow dry, so I'm just gonna blow dry. And after coming back, we're gonna try the heatless curls. Which is, which makes no sense because I'm already using heat on my hair. But I wanna try heatless curls regardless of... Uh, I don't even know how to explain this at this point. Like, you just get it. I have to go out and the plan of heatless curls is out of the window and uh, yeah I'll come back and then I'll wet my hair again and then do the heatless curls to try if it actually works and from next time I promise doing that without heat okay bye hi this is the next morning I wanted to do it last night but I had to go out so I quickly blow dried my hair but I'm still gonna attempt to do that also i woke up sick i i just woke up with a sore throat and cold and i think i'm gonna get my period so life is going first i'm just gonna detangle my hair there are not much tangles actually but still yeah one uh, you're supposed to do this on damp hair so I'm just gonna, I think, wet my hair, which I hate. Okay, is this just me or everyone's using toilet paper? <coughs> just to blow your nose. My hair is damp now. I think this should be enough. The first thing she did with this thing, I want this to be equal, okay. Now, just pull your hair back like this and continue to do that. I'm gonna try to do it as tight as possible. I feel this whole video is gonna be a fail. My hair is not wet here. But I'm gonna still try. For once, I just wanted to film something calming and easy, but... Just the world doesn't want me to. Okay, I think I have to get the whole thing. And oh, this is not bad. Although some hair sticking out. I really don't care at this point. And I'm just gonna do that because my hair is not really wet. Okay, I'm gonna quickly... Ow! I don't know. I'm pulling some hair. Not sure if this is secure. Hmm. Okay. Not bad. Not good either. I think I'm gonna redo that side again, but let's see. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. I hate being sick. And now that I'm alone, it's annoying me more. I hate being sick and alone. I just wish I had someone with me. 
Is it just me or times like this make you feel like you need to have a boyfriend? Like you just have that need so that you can know you can share <sighs> random bullshit and also now that you're sick someone uh, who can take care of you at this point yeah i want that right now and my dating life has been such a mess actually i don't have a dating life like it's really nothing and just like the most single girl you'll ever see wait this doesn't seem right i look like a school girl <laughs> trying to achieve something and it seems so loose for me maybe i didn't pull it or do it right and also i'm doing this in the morning so i'm just gonna sit and wait until my work is done and remove it okay i'll probably be exposing my love life in this video so i've never been in a relationship i i haven't felt loved you know like since march i was in the situation or whatever that was i'm not sure <sighs> so basically it's not his fault because i wanted things casual and uh, i'm pretty sure he's not gonna watch this video that's the only reason i'm just talking about it so openly with you guys and i have no clue why i'm talking about it yeah i think i'll feel good i'm not even sure if i'm gonna put this maybe my editing me wouldn't be like wouldn't like me talking about this not sure and it's so funny that i'm talking in this hairstyle <laughs> which is so weird so yeah where was i yeah the situation ship yeah i wanted things casual he did uh he was okay with it and um i fell for him story of every girl yes i did fall for him very hard and it was so bad and i think suddenly i started expecting stuff from him because i started emotionally feeling something for him but he was right at his part because i said things casual he was still taking it casual but i was like shit i think i fell for this guy i'm like no this can't be happening and uh, it i just started acting out at this point like i just wanted him everywhere and stuff like that and obviously you can't expect that from a situation ship or whatever that was at a point i just realized that i have to stop and give up and don't worry i didn't bother him i didn't stalk him i didn't do anything <laughs> crazy uh yeah there might be two or three drunk calls let's just not talk about that yeah apart from that uh he's living his life i'm living my life but i'm still i wouldn't say i'm still not over him but I'm trying to get over him even though we weren't in anything or we were not like dating or anything like literally anything I'm trying to get over out of nothing yeah I know it sounds so stupid and it, I can just I don't know why I get myself into this I was happily having like my single life and I just try to you know do something and it just ends up in this but one thing i realized out of this is that i can't do things casual uh yeah that's one thing but i tend to do make some mistakes of choosing the wrong people but i'm not saying the people are wrong but for me they might not match that's what i'm saying i'm not saying like the people are wrong they are wrong for me yeah i think that makes sense they are wrong for me but right for someone else maybe although i keep wishing every day like some magical thing happens and you know it all works out but i don't think that's going to happen i'm literally exposing my whole life on social media sometimes it scares me really love meeting all of you and you know these random people come approach me say they you love 
they love my content i i feel so good and that actually motivates me a lot to create more like oh my god they're actually you know people uh, my content is reaching out to people that are really liking my fashion sense or the sh bullshit that i talk and everything uh it really you know makes me to oh, want to do more but uh i do face some issues like you know bad comments i just ignore them or delete them i just don't want to see them and uh you know the really scary dms fine with it i just ignore them too but stalking no uh people uh sometimes i feel i expose myself too much and people take advantage of it uh and keep stalking me and doing that stuff it really scares me i i don't know how to deal with such situations and uh, it just mentally affects me a lot like i cannot <sighs> it's just so scary i i, I think i'm just going to tear up talking about it i hate talking i hate people keeping tabs on me like what the hell am i doing uh, or how my life is going and threatening people or doing anything like that no it is a no for me once if that person is stalking me and they call it love like or whatever no it's not if you're trying to find out about me in when i'm clearly against it no that isn't love that is stalking and it is pretty scary i just don't want to deal with it this whole conversation is getting so dark I don't know how to explain this book. Okay, I'm an introvert and the only thing I talk to is my camera right now and uh, reading your comments and everything. It just makes me so, you know, empowered. I don't know what the word is, but, you know, hyped or... Ah, I'm not getting the exact word, but something like that. And uh, it actually makes me feel that I have a lot of friends, but I don't like... but. I do because of you guys and I just don't want anyone to uh you know make that my vulnerability so yeah that was the point I think I looked like a joker talking about serious stuff with this hairstyle especially yeah enough of this talk and uh, and one more thing right now I'm just chasing uh you know to find love which I know is very wrong it'll come your way but I'm scared of not finding and also of losing my uh, you know these young times in this process i feel like i'm too old and i just need a person to you know depend on a little bit i have always been an independent woman but you know sometimes i just don't want to you know like when i'm sick i just want to go wake up and i'm like i'm so sick and i just want like a warm hug or something like that and someone to comfort me saying yeah it's fine and i'm re realizing this when i'm lonely when my you know friends are not here or roommates you now all this while i had these amazing girls around me treating me so well so i never you know felt the need of having someone but suddenly now that i'm alone and you know everyone's busy with their lives and the boyfriends and stuff like that i'm like okay dude i need one now where can i buy them <laughs> just kidding <laughs> this is my rant session and i spoke for like 15 minutes straight i'll be back once i remove this i don't know if i did this right but let's try i am back i had nice afternoon sleep i'm gonna try to remove this now oh i don't know where to start okay i'm very nervous i'm scared i think it's still wet okay whatever because it's almost been six hours <laughs> this looks funny okay I see the curls, but they're like extremely curly. Okay, let me brush it out. I definitely did not like how it turned out or maybe I did something wrong that it turned out this way. 
and I feel my hair became like shorter because the curls are like pulling up. Definitely not doing this again. It's fine, but it's just not how I want it. Maybe I have to do something different. Mention that in the comments. Also, I was just talking to my friends about the same issue that I was talking to the camera. Uh, one of my friends was like, I have high expectations and then we were just discussing about my expectations and all I said was I just want to be loved, cared for as a person, you know, a person who I can be emotional and be crazy with. To be honest, I don't want any fancy dates. I'm happy just sitting at home and cooking and watching Khaleja and I want something where you know we can grow career wise and you know support each other in different ways you know emotionally or anything we're going through this is vice versa because, I, because I'm a person like that I also want like you know at least 10% of what I'm giving and after hearing this she's like bro you don't even have expectations of me that's what I've been saying but I don't but no one's listening Okay, this thing is slowly growing on me. See, like you can see this curl, it is perfect, but that's just too much for me. So yeah, and I also didn't like how my bangs turned out. I'm just switching topics between my hair and my love life. So stupid. I ran it so much, I just hope I don't fall in trouble for it. What? What am I doing with my life? Also appreciate how my skin is just glowing. I just had a nice sleep and woke up pretty pretty. A lot of people will be asking in the comments about my skincare and I've already done that. It's the same, nothing has changed. My skin is just glowing. And probably it's because I'm gonna get my periods. Whenever I'm gonna get my periods, I just start glowing. So yeah, that's it for the video. I'm just gonna sleep for this weekend and do nothing but eat and sleep and try to get better. Bye.